Hello again folks and welcome to another demonstration of Scavenger SV4. Today I'm going to show you how to deal with a malign artificial intelligence if you bring it aboard your ship. Let's take a look at what we have here. We have an artifact labeled computer. The science computer says device is a computer, additional research will be necessary to determine function. So I'm going to get the research going on these this will soon complete and as soon as it finishes you're going to start seeing some things go wrong with your computer systems now if you work quickly you can stop the computer from completely taking over but first let me show you what we have here So you can already see that the text is being partially replaced with some gibberish. And it says that uh, the processor appears to interact with the logic probes. Research facility is unable to infer the logic being run by the processor core. So if we let this go too far, it will start taking over every user terminal aboard the ship and every terminal will start showing corruptions of various kinds most notably the auto dock which will diagnose you as being infested with internal organs and will suggest dissection and removal as the treatment but let's take a look at what we have here let's go into the engineering terminal and look at the state of the user terminals. Right now, everything appears nominal. But as time goes by, as the computer continues to exert control, all of these terminals will read optimal. But of course, the question is optimal by whose standards? Mine or the artificial intelligences? See, we can already tell the cargo management terminal is being taken over. We have increasing corruption here on the research station. Let's look around some more. Some corruption here. Nothing on this terminal yet. Let's see if it's gotten to the auto dock yet. Not yet, but before it takes over, I'm gonna get some treatment here. We can see increasing corruption here. Yeah, the corruption is spreading more and more. I'm waiting to show you what I said before about certain terminals reading optimal. Uh-oh. You can see it's already taking effect. So, optimal, optimal. If I, if I let it totally take over, I'm going to be in big trouble. In fact, if it takes over life support, it might open the airlocks and vent me into space. So, I still have a little bit of time, so the first thing I'm going to do is try and get control of the cargo system and jettison the thing into space. So, computer, discard. Okay, so the main computer is no longer aboard, but its programming might still be corrupting the system. So, what I need to do is quickly, in rapid succession, reboot all the terminals to get us back to normal, so let's do that now. So, uh-oh. It's it's trying, it's trying to take over, let's try. Reboot. 
Reboot. Reboot. Reboot. I'll save engineering for last. Now, if we did this right, then we will have saved ourselves. Cargo appears offline, I better fix that. Let's go look at that now. Okay, cargo appears to be in good shape. Let's take one last look to be sure. Actually, that was storage we were looking at before. But cargo appears nominal. Not optimal. Yep, looking good. Alright, so let's put it to the test. Let's end the expedition and see how we made out. And there you have it. We can see in the ending that we interrupted an attempted takeover of the ship's computer systems by a malign artificial intelligence, and I got 10,000 points for my trouble. So there you have it. To stop the malign AI, jettison it overboard, and then reboot every user terminal on the ship. Do that, and you'll be safe. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next game.